Hey everybody, it's 392 here, and I'm here reviewing, um, well, I'm going to be reviewing Transformer Stories. And I don't know how many of these I'll actually do. Uh, more or less, I'm leading up to one big review I'm going to be doing. So, let's get into this, and, oh well. This is Moonracer, as you can see by her little, well, follow her, don't you? Uh, Moonracer, buy her little stack card. Uh, she comes with this. I think all of them come with this. She is from the Power of the Primes line, which is, I think, the newest one after Return of Titan. Uh, she's an Autobot. That's what that symbol is. Da -da -da -da. And as you can see, she is actually a good looking figure. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. This is probably one of the better, uh, female sculpts. Uh, I've seen uh, of toys we've had because I wish I had my uh, what was it my Energon uh, RC to compare her to uh, I don't have anything from Prime as I said I've just got back into collecting these things uh, more or less because they brought back combiners good combiners not that power core BS which I will be reviewing one of those in one of these videos but anyway um, Here's our arm articulation, which is really good. She's packed in this mode. I've noticed that uh, she, in the mode, she's, this is down in the box. It's down back behind her legs. So I put it back up here behind the, in part of her backpack, so she could actually have some more leg motion and move around. She's, you know, really good robot mode. I mean, as I said, she's got really good arm articulation. Uh, she has a elbow, which is a ball joint. Shoulder is a ball joint. Uh, this is on some kind of hinge, so she has no wrist swivel whatsoever. I don't know, I'm not sure how much of an issue that'll be, but looks pretty good to me. Um, I like that. She has a bit of waist movement, uh, partially due to her transformation, which I'll be jump cutting to. I'm not going to sit here and try to transform her on camera at all. Uh, she has a knee that goes a full 90. Uh, as I said, she's got a really good... Her hips are weird. I've just, they have a swivel, but they're also on a ball joint. So it's got like two places in the hip, as you can see. And I know it's really, really weird, but it's really cool at the same time. Uh, both arms like that. This thing here, I'll uh, take it off and review it. It is on there pretty and good. Um, I'll review it in a minute. Yeah, but back to her. Here's her knees, which are really good. Uh, okay, that doesn't do anything. Oh, she has uh, knees that are on a hinge. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that's part of the car mode. But that's still pretty cool. You get an interesting set of poses with it if you can get her to stand because of her backpack. Because that is part of her, it's like the roof and hood of her car. And this is the back end of it so yeah this is most of the back end of her vehicle mode and that's like the roof of it and here's her front end this is my one gripe about her robot mode that is very smooth plastic so it is actually hard to get her to stay it's a little hard to get her to stand but with this extra kibbly bits on the side of it she will stand it's just getting her to stand on this type of surface because i got this down because the table underneath this looks like crap uh that's like my only gripe about her is the feet because i have that smooth plastic i mean that's that's just horrific but i would one of my favorite things about her if it will show well is she has a very nice head sculpt i mean her face is really nice it's well painted i'm pretty sure it's painted and all that and she's got really good, uh, she's got a good neck articulation. Well, it's kind of hindered by her, whatever this is supposed to be on her neck. But, uh, got good head articulation. Well, you can turn if you get it to, it made a liar out of me. But it's on a ball joint, and it will pop off, so, yeah, be careful about that. Uh, here's her gun. She's got one, one gun, uh, basic black plastic. And all that with a scope and a thing. And it's pot pegs right in. So, that's pretty cool. Ah, 
No, just fine. Lay, I don't feel like fighting with you. We have this thing, which is several different things, I guess. It is a hand for her arm mode, because she's a com she's part of a combiner thing. I have no idea who she's supposed to go together to make. They, from what I've looked at, they've went all over the map with this. Uh, so I have no idea who she's supposed to be a part of. Uh, I, I don't know where to start with that. But it's a hand. It actually is a pretty good looking hand. Let me get a little closer here. It's a good looking hand. I mean, you got your fingers here that hinge. Uh, you got all five of them. You got two thumbs. I'm uh, so it could be used for either side. Oh, she, they, the robot, they're robots. They got six fingers. Go figure. They can go grab you better. Uh, it fits on her really well. So I've been using it as like a <laughs> the pimp hand of doom. Oh. I don't have any of the Power Masters. What the, I don't know what they're called. There's these little things that are robots, but they'll transform into a thing and peg into this. They're like the gods of the series or whatever. They're supposed to be super powerful. And this thing comes off. This is, take this off. They sit in this. Supposed to be a power boost. Um, I've been seeing pictures that they can hold these as, I guess, another weapon. I don't really know that I'd call this a weapon. I really don't. It's, I don't know. But it's a really nice uh, clear plastic, though. I'll give it that. Uh, now, probably here comes my gripe part. Well, actually, I like this. This came out looking good. And you can see here, it's like boosters. That's makes it a gun, I guess, for this mode. Or something. It doesn't peg onto her back anywhere really well for a back for a back booster because that peg's only that long and it won't fit correctly in storage. So it fits better on her hand or in her hand as a gun, I guess. I like doing it as the giant pimp hand of doom. That's what I've been calling them because I th I think it looks cool and it fits really well on her. In my opinion, it fits well on her. And she can, you know, do this, block with it, and all that. Now, it's supposed to peg into the chest. My problem is, I can't find her chest peg. I mean, the other ones, it's easy. You just fall down a piece, and there it is. Uh, this one, it doesn't even show in the instructions, to be honest. And, well, I don't like their instructions. They're black. All that, that's their instructions. Yeah, well, that's her foot mode. But yeah, it does that. Turns into that. And here's the... Yeah, here's the robot mode. Um, so there's an Alita 1 figure. Jazz, Sludge, Snarl. Which is the Dino Bots. Combined to form Superbot. So they didn't really bother to name them. Yeah, but these were never originally combiners. She never had a toy, but she is in the original show. So, I don't know what they're going for anymore. There's no name to these things. But, hey, we're getting interesting, nice-looking combiners. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here we go. It shows that somehow it's to peg into this weapon. And look, here. This is how it pegs into the chest. That is all it shows you. Is it che pegs into the chest? Um, yeah. This doesn't pop down. I can't get this to do anything, so I'm not going to deal with it. Okay, back. Um, here's our car mode. Now, yes, I do have a grip about this mode. <laughs> so, let's just get into it. It does kind of roll good, but as you can see, kind of, it catches when you roll it. Here's why. There's her legs from robot mode, her waist, all that. This right here is my is one of my gripes about her car mode. If it'll zoom or focus or whatever. She's got these tabs sticking out of her. Oh, God, you can't see those that well. There you go. These tabs here and these tabs here stick down further than her tires. That's my gripe about this mode. 
That's one of them. So she can't really, she can kind of roll, but she snags on everything. <sighs> she has a good looking car mode. She's really thin though. Um, but it's an interesting car. It's supposed to be sleek and fast. I guess it'd be like a weird Lamborghini or something. But here's where we get it. That hand, the pimp hand of doom is what I've been calling these. Just pegs into her back end. Yeah, that is the peg hole they gave her to stick this stupid thing in. It's not really much of a hole, as you can see right here. That's aggravating as hell that they do that. Wait, does that actually come up? Mm, no. So I'm assuming that's supposed to be the part that this pegs into in robot mode, which, you know, can't get out because that's her flipping head. Oh, and ah, there's her hands. Yeah, they... Didn't even try. They're, you're, you're supposed to use this to hide her hands. and Oh, God. That's basically what it looks like in the back end. Because this is supposed to be a booster for her. It's supposed to, like, stick in that little hole and stick straight out. That's what the picture shows. I did not mistransform it. I didn't do any of that. That is what the picture shows for her back end. And as you can see, you can... Okay, you have two peg holes on the back end of her from her arms and her hands. So, it's the only place you really have... Well, you can stick the gun up in this thing. Because the guns will fit in this. And, you know, that. And, that doesn't stay tabbed in for some reason. But, then again, I'm not surprised. I really ain't. They're, these just don't stay tabbed in good at all on this figure. So... She was packed in robot mode. I'll just go ahead and tell you that right now. So, that's like her... That's the only redeeming quality I see for her is the fact that she has a good robot mode. Everything else about her is a letdown. Like, I'm not sure what these are for, to be honest. So, yeah. That's it. That's her car mode. It's not bad, but because of issues, I guess, I guess you call these kibble issues, I don't know, she can't roll, and well, there's her hands sticking out of the back end, that's one of my, that's my other issue, and they don't stay tabbed worth a crap, so that's uh, my review on Moonracer from Power of the Primes, like and subscribe, and peace out.